Hi everyone, welcome to yet another video and in today's video we will learn on how to draw this landscape over here and in this video we will just cover the outline and in the next video we will be completing the shading part. Alright, so without further delay, let's get started. So we are not using the whole page for drawing this, we are just using half of this page. So draw a line in the center of the page like this and as you can see in this figure we have to first draw the fence first then we will draw the church and then we will draw the trees you can draw them in any order but you know, for ease of drawing you can follow me while you're drawing So we will first draw the fences at the bottom using zigzag lines. Then you can end the fence somewhere over here. And you can start with the next fence from here. can draw lines in between to show the dif differences between the different parts of the fence. There you go. Next we will draw the church. So you should have this much part of the figure reserved just for the church. So first draw the roof of the church which will look something like this. So when you're drawing this make sure that you have enough space on the top to draw the mountains and also the top portion of the church. For example, so we are drawing the church over here so you have enough space on the top for drawing the mountains. So I don't think this is this will give me enough space so I'm going to draw it a little bit down. So we will draw the roof first and then we will draw the bottom portion. So you have to make sure that the top portion of the roof is straight. It, should be, it shouldn't be slanting. It should be straight. Complete the roof over here. So I don't have enough space to draw it, so I'll just reduce the size of the roof. There you go. Now we have to draw the bottom portion, the walls of the church. So we will draw three lines, like this. So basically in this figure we are depicting a winter morning so which means it will be a little bit foggy so we won't be seeing the bottom portion of the church. Okay. So we will just complete the top portion like we won't see the floor of the church and the next work is to give some sun shades. And 
that's how you give a sunshade and now for drawing the doors the one on the front we will draw a light line this is just for drawing the door so once it's drawn we will erase it off so make sure that the line is very light and now you can draw the door over here like this and curve it on the opposite side as well there you go now we have two more doors on the sides for which again we will draw very light lines here and here and draw the door then and now you can draw the windows there you go so you are not actually completing the bottom portion so that you will have this foggy kind of effect in our drawing all right so the next step will be to draw the top portion of the church so to draw the top portion we will draw this line this line and this line first so we will draw the short line which is on the left most side first and then we will draw a little bit longer line over here and a line of the same length again on this side so this line and this line will be of the same length now you can join the bottom over here and you can join this line with this line like this so this line will be parallel to this line cool. now you can erase off any unwanted lines here i am using a pencil eraser but uh, which is useful for erasing from very small portions but if you have a big eraser that's also fine just be careful while you are erasing off any unwanted lines so i'll erase off this line over here and this line over here cool now you can draw a straight line joining these two line these three lines I feel this line is not straight so I'll just make it a little bit more straight. Yeah. There you go. Now you will mark a point on the top like this and you can join these three corners to this point. and now you can draw this line and this line so this line will be slightly longer than this one because the length of this line which are beyond the roof won't be visible for us now you can draw the arc there you go the same way you can draw the arc on this side so you'll draw one line over here and another line over here and draw it completed like this cool now you can draw the cross on the top so draw two lines very close to one another and also you can draw the horizontal part of the cross the arms of the cross There you go. So you have the basic structure of your church ready. And now you can erase off the unwanted lines which we used for construction. Also to make it a little, little bit more 3D and to make it 
more realistic we are drawing this inner portion of the door for which you will draw another arch and join it here and also for these doors there you go So once this is done it's time for us to start with the drawing of the trees so we will draw this tree in the front first and then we will go and draw the rest of the trees so the trees in the front will be darker and it will be more clear than the trees of the back so this is a basic concept that we are trying to study in today's class so again to draw a tree first draw two lines Uh, please don't draw the tree all the way to the fence because you will have some bushes that will come up Bright bushes that will come up and also we have to show the part of the tree that goes inside the fog So don't draw the tree all the way down till here So this is the trunk of the tree and then you will branch off from here like this you will draw two lines and then again we will branch off from here again with two lines so if you have any problems in drawing a tree please see this video once again so that you will have a thorough understanding on how to draw a tree in the most natural way So if you have the end of the branch, you will join the two lines together like this. So in the same way you can draw the other part of the tree. So all trees are not the same. They are entirely different from each other. Each tree is unique. So there is no special way of drawing a particular tree. All the trees are having random shapes. So you need not follow. Uh, exactly the way I am drawing for the trees you can use your own way but the basic structure of the tree and how to make and draw branches can be learned from this drawing There you go. I will make this tree a little bit more thinner and also a little bit more curved. There you go. So in a similar way you can draw rest of the trees. So as you as you look further away from the church, the trees will be smaller. And the trees closer to us. The front will be bigger. You can bring this tree down to the level of the church till here. There you go.
you had until here you can draw the mountains on the top so again there is no specific way of drawing a mountain so in this drawing we are drawing three mountains uh, one the furthest away but the highest and then the one in the center which is of medium height and the shortest one which is the closest so you can draw it in the same order but you can use a different shape for each mountain there is no specific shape that you have to follow I'll just give a little bit more space over here and draw this mountain a little bit closer to the first one. Okay, there you go. So you have the outline ready. for the drawing of the church okay so in the next video we will see how to shade this and how to add these dried branches of bushes into our drawing right so i hope you guys liked today's drawing of the church uh, i call this drawing as the winter morning and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you guys in the next week Take care, stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.